So I stripped the bed, cleaned it, put all the parts, you know, the main castings and main parts, so I separated it into plastic bags. And uh, see here, looks kind of unnecessary to paint, I'd say. So, uh, not much worn, I hope, but let's see, at least from an initial point of view, I don't see any reason to paint it. Some rust, some places up here, but most uh, usage would be the hexo marks here, I guess. Okay. Let's see. Um, I'm now doing my Super 7, ML7 and ML10 uh, cleanup, the next batch, so to speak. So what I like to do in uh, preparation for scraping and measuring and all the rest, the start of it is all degreasing, cleaning and de-rusting. Uh, the first thing I try to do is to um, separate the parts. Now I know the the mifers quite well, so I'm not too worried about parts not uh, well mixing up. Anyway, I like to keep them in in different uh, compartments. Now I have segmented it a little bit. Like um, for instance, here I have the ML10 headstock, and here I have the some other parts for the ML10. Then what I also like to do is, to, of course, if um, if I see that, uh, let's say, for instance, this ML10 had quite okay painting, uh, still, I think. So the paint, um, not convinced that I'm going to repaint it. Anyhow, then I split the parts that uh, had paint into one container. Let's say the, um, the parts, for instance, for the headstock here. Uh, the headstock is painted itself and the other parts were not rusted so they went into one one um, container there for cleaning and uh, you might see what i have here is just ordinary washing machine tablets so the, uh, these are quite strong of course i mean they, they function quite well for after having done so uh, they need to be uh, washed cleaned and I like to put them in in uh, oil afterwards so that they are uh, that I have no problem with um, them rusting up again. So they, I, I think I'll leave them there for well to soak up. Uh, that's why you see this there. So um, for de rusting. I of course used the, the the electrolytic method, as I said, and we used then this uh, in Norwegian called crystal soda. Um, that's not so that you destroy any metal; you just remove the rust, and it's I think, to my experience, the best method to do though, to do so. So the parts, as they turn up out out of uh, cleaning, this one looks nice, and um, well, the painting is not chipped, at least not much. But um, we'll see. However, this one. The painting is a bit off, so I'm not really certain. Maybe I will paint it anyhow. Um, so the decision remains as to whether I paint it or not. Uh, uncertain. I am not convinced. I need it, but maybe I will anyway. So moving to this quite sorry looking guy over here, which you can recognize as in a Myford Super 7 MK2. 
Uh, this will of course undergo full restoration. And uh, moving you closer, you can see the extent of uh, rust or deterioration. It has uh, still movable like this, but you see rust all over. But to be able to measure the ways, uh, measure the wear I'm in on the ways, you need to get all this crud off. I mean, you can't work in this kind of environment, not to any degree of certainty or accuracy. But this will be a fully going back to factory specs Super 7 again, I'm convinced. Even though it looks like a basket case, and it probably was. So, um, I will probably grind this, I might, uh, depending on the wear. I might also settle for just uh, scraping, but probably grinding. And as you probably can see, the wear on the bed is not dramatic. Uh, the usage factor is not dramatic. I mean, the, there are no big hacks or marks, a little bit here, but um, you don't know about the wear until you measured it. You can see the the rust on the lead screw. So these parts will of course go into de-rusting. As a whole this lathe will also be put into, I mean it will be, probably I can machine wash it in a professional washing machine, but I think I will put this into a de-rusting, let's say a container I can make for the bed. So in that process the, the paint will um, will be off so i'll be back to bare metal so having to repaint it all but that's i think for this slate okay typical typical small part that i can de-rust is this mk2 live center which has some rust here we'll see how that goes when i've done that other Typical parts is the pulley here, the bull gear, all just be put into the container. And in this case, the rusty chuck, but the spindle itself is quite okay. So, but I did not manage to get this off. So, which means that this is rusted on the spindle. So we'll see how that goes when I put this into the container and try to de-rust it if it if it um, frees or not. And for some parts, well, you just have to replace. Wow. So for the electrolytic de-rusting, I just mixed up some hot water and uh, washing soda. I will enter this guy down here. came out. Not sure if you get that. But um, all the rust came off. Yep. So just a little bit more cleaning then. I am good. Same on this one, just loose rust now. Mm. 
this one. So we'll clean up, dry it up, and then get back. So how do you free a stuck truck uh, on this type of, uh, let's say, um, or in this situation? Well, I inserted the spindle again, put on the bull wheel that was from the ML10, which fits, which I no longer will use, as you can see, because of the damage. And then I will try to to free this uh, this truck with well using the pin of course here that locks the this wheel and then you know twist well some use of discretion is so why it is advised but I got it loose with this method just as you can see, rusted, but freed again. And here we have parts directly from at the electrolytic de-rusting, plus uh, just some, well, cleaning with a, with a brush and uh, oiling. So these uh, look quite okay, um, still usable, I mean, so um, the bill wheel, uh, teeth okay, not perfect, but okay, these are parts for, for the Super 7, same with some chuck jaws. The ML10 hand wheel for the tailstock, more ML10 parts, now they look nice again at least, back plate and truck, I have now two of these, burn air, they are made for the ML7 as it was stamped on them. And the uh, cross slide, the ML10, some damage here. Mm, I just think I'll leave it as is. So that's one. Well, yeah, here it's all, also some damage. <laughs> yeah. Okay.